Yeah, I don't know whether it's any quicker doing it like that. I mean, it's as the muck pile uh, builds, it's getting closer and closer to the yard. But personally, I think by the time you've uh, got in and out of your loader and tractor and back the trailer down there twice and then scraped up the yard where you'd spilt muck everywhere. I don't know whether it's worth it really. Maybe if you if I had a big if I had like an eight ton trailer and I could just put the whole I could scrape everything out, put it all in one load and then back it down, it'd probably be worthwhile. But with this trailer I don't know whether it is worth it really. But you gotta try these things, haven't you? Everything's uh, bedded up then happy now. Once again, we just keep going around the uh, same cycle. I think I'm going to dig this uh, link box out. It might not look like a link box, but in there is a, is a bit of a three-point link. Well, we used to call it a link box, but it's a bit of a homemade thing. It's not really a box, it's more of a link platform. Uh, I'm going to run and run back to that field where I had the sheep and fetch the uh, scales and the hurdles. Just don't fancy it. Just to, I don't fancy back in the trailer all the way down that track again. I mean, I could do. It's not the end of the world. I just thought, oh, get me a link box out. Why not? And I'll just chuck them all on that, so it'd be a lot easier to uh, get in and out. So that was my plan. Now I'm just going to put this trailer back away. And put, I'll probably put it on that tractor. The only trouble is it's cat one pins. Uh, I haven't got any cat cat one uh, balls, but never mind. piles of feathers in the middle of the yard this morning and I thought when I was walking the driver walked past the chicken I thought oh it looks a bit uh, muddy and straggly and it is don't know what's gone on there something's got hold of it How the hell it's managed to survive, I don't know. Unless, maybe unless it was a fox and then the dogs chased it off, I don't know. Who you knows? Lucky though. Bloody lucky. Apart from being a bit muddy, it looks to be uh, unscathed. Hi. 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 Don't mind me. Half a minute here, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so this this shed now is pretty much ready to go. Um, I just just hung the feeders up now. I had a minute this afternoon. Um, 
I think, and I've just oiled a bit. There's a bit of uh, rusty steel on the floor. It's, it's, it's going to be caked in chicken muck for the next 12 months. So I just slapped a bit of, sprayed a bit of oil on it. But yeah, apart from that, it's ready to go. Yeah, I haven't turned the camera on all day, but I have had a reasonably busy day. I've had a good sort out with some sheep. Uh, I weighed the bunch of store lambs. Uh, the, the latest bunch that I bought. And I picked out, oh, I picked out 15 or so, I think, or just shy of 15 that were, I don't know, I'll let the guy at the market grade them, but they were all getting on, I mean, some of them were getting on for 40 kilo, which were like a hill sheep. I don't think is too bad, but we'll see what they say. I don't know whether there'll be a big demand um, with it being one of the last killing uh, weeks before Christmas or, or not. I don't know if I've missed it. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, and I've moved a few cattle. I've planned a bit of an ambitious day tomorrow. I'm going to try and um, do all my morning jobs tonight. Probably have to sacrifice a bit of sleep. Get up early, earlier than normal and try and take a bunch of cattle to the market first thing and then come home I've got to do some egg deliveries uh, and then get back back in the Land Rover and run these bunch of lambs to the market um, and then get back here, get all my uh, eggs collected and everything fed cattle wise all sort of before one o'clock, so I might be uh, I might be being a bit ambitious, but that's tomorrow's plan. And I've got a whole load of things to do in the uh, afternoon as well. And then I was hoping to maybe get up to uh, to a, a store sheep market in the uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, but we'll see something that's probably going to ruin that plan but anyway that's my plan for tomorrow so i've had a right good sort out with some sheep today moved a few round moved a few cattle around basically weaned the um suckler calves um they seem happy enough and then once i've got these cows out of the way i'll uh I can have a sort out. I've got to have a rearranged a bunch out of the calf shed need moving into the top yard, and then um, uh, and then yeah, get my calves out of their calf pens into a bigger pen because they 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 want moving really. So yeah, just have a big shuffle around. So yeah. Anyway, I just thought oh, just these these hens are due to come. Not tomorrow, the day after, so I just thought I'd try and get ahead of the game and get things ready. Um, they, they very often ring up and tell you that they, they don't, they're not coming on the day that they were planning on coming, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. At the moment, it's it's not tomorrow, the day after, so try and be prepared. So yeah, that'll do. Anyway, I'll just try to make a smaller video because the last two videos have been quite um, quite long really bit of a commitment to sit and watch sort of turning into a, a sort of turning into feature length films you know just uh, full of nonsense and me rabbiting on a load of dribble so yeah don't know what I'm talking about or why I'm doing what I'm doing really so wouldn't bother watching if I were you. Here's a short one anyway, so yeah, bye for now.